Dating apps are supposed to bridge the gap for people who just don't have the opportunity to date every day. With work or school or responsibilities in your community, it can make it difficult to go on dates. And typically, you waste your time, you waste your money, and nothing comes out of it. Well, now we're in 2024, and with a swipe of a button, you can date as many people as you want online. Get to know somebody, see if you're gonna connect, then make the conscious decision to go out. But stop the show. Sometimes for men, it's very difficult to even get a match. If you live in Los Angeles or New York City, and depending on your profile picture, you might even be a good looking guy. It's just horrible to get the kind of woman that you want. For a lot of guys, it's better to try it in person. They can use their personality, their height, their charisma to get the kind of lady they want. As men, we think that dating apps are really for women. They get to use this service typically for free and they should have no problem matching with guys, right? Well, wrong, especially if you're black women. Now, if you guys remember the opening clip of the video, that was a woman who's a black woman talking about how she's been mistreated on dating apps, largely, I would say, by other groups of men. And a lot of ladies don't have a problem getting matched on dating apps but they're getting matched to guys that they feel are not on their level. And that's why there's a really big controversy with this particular app called Hinge. Now, Hinge is a dating app just like Tinder, just like Bumble, that's supposed to bring, you know, a lot of good opportunities for women. But instead, black women are complaining about things like this. Am I the only one who saw the video of the young black woman who changed her race on Hinge to get different matches? change your race to white or asian but hide it so when a man sees it she said it was experimental and it was just to test out the algorithm but here's why i think this is a bad idea okay we already know algorithms are very biased they definitely know our race our skin color they know they know everything about us period and they give us certain matches that they feel like coincide with who we are and I understand wanting to like date a specific type of person or wanting to date someone of a specific demographic, socioeconomic status, specific occupations. But if someone is intentionally filtering out black women from their dating preferences, why would you want to even match up with them? We need to let go of the desire of wanting to be chose by people who are very loudly not choosing us. Dating apps have become so bad for black women. You have ladies telling black women this. Black women, I want to talk to y'all real quick because I've noticed that quite a few of you have come on here talking about dating apps. And I just have one thing to say about dating apps. Get off of them. <laughs> Get off those dating apps. That's probably the biggest advice that I can give you. Get off of those dating apps. I don't care what it is. Bumble, Match.com, eHarmony, Tinder, Plenty of Fish, Christian Singles. If it is a app that is designed for dating, get off of it. Now, now here's the thing. If it's a social media app, right? Like Instagram or YouTube, an app that isn't for dating alone. It's just more for social. That's different. Um, but dating apps, there's a different feel. And a lot of those guys are not just going to be talking to you, obviously. And, and of course, if you're on there, you're going to be talking to different men too, right? But here's the thing. Men understand that if they can get you emotionally, they pretty much have everything else. So a man will talk to you 30 minutes to an hour a day. And as he does that each day, your emotions are getting involved. Let's be honest, because we're women. But what you don't know is that he's also talking to 20 other women for 30 minutes to an hour a day. So you're not the only one. And that's how a lot of these guys are tricking women on these apps because they'll talk to you every day, telling you their whole life story. And then after you talk to them for two months, 
all of a sudden they have this story where, oh, my grandma, she's in the hospital and uh, it's going to take $2,000 to help with her bill. And because you've invested all those days and time and talking to him and sharing all your dreams and successes and all the things that you want in life, you'll be more willing to help him. I want to kind of go back to the very first intro clip that we put in the video, which is that black women typically are not the desired uh, kind of ladies for the men that they're trying to achieve. Now, that particular study, I don't really go into detail right now, but of course, it does seem that men who make a certain amount of money might be looking for a plethora of women, a lot of women, not just black women. And of course, if you're good looking and you're feminine, once you have black women that are like that out there, they're not going to have a hard time matching. But the reality is they're accusing Hinge of doing this on purpose, not promoting black women to the top level of guys. And I can pretty much guess why. In my honest opinion, they don't want to be known as the app for the black community. Back in the day, there was a dating service called BlackPlanet.com. Many of you remember Black Planet. It was quite ghetto in hood, fabulous. And they did have some beautiful women and people did hook up from Black Planet. I wish they would bring it back. There's just one problem. It was called Black Planet and other dating apps wanted to make sure that this never happened again. And Hinge, while they don't want to say this, they don't want to be known as a app that has a whole lot of African-Americans on it because then it's gonna drive down the value of the app. See, a lot of people believe that, well, as the black man, you're so highly sought after in America and the black woman is very sought after in America. Well, there could be some truth to it. The reality is the people that really spend the money on this app are gonna be non-blacks, non-Asians, non-whites, right? That's pretty much the business model they wanna go towards because more white people begets more white people, more Asians brings more Asians, and more blacks does bring more blacks. And nobody wants to be known as the company that has a lot of blacks on the dating app. So to drive more black women off the app, they're gonna push them towards men that for the most part, they're not interested in. Now, I wanna talk about Raya, which is an app that's more high class. More business professionals are there. You have more people that are in the private sector there, even big celebrities. Black women are doing pretty decent on Raya. Check this out. Okay, I'm gonna try to make this brief. While I have a lot of opinions about Simone Biles and her husband, it's also bringing up a conversation that I've been seeing in the comments and on every search bar in all of the comments, I see Raya Black Women. And I've seen a few people talk about being on Raya as a Black woman and how it's a bad experience um, and how you really get the short end of the stick. Um, I think there's one other content creator on TikTok that I know for a fact um, is on Raya because she got married and she talks about how, you know, she had a success story. I too am on Raya. Um, it's pretty much the only dating app that I have used in the past couple of years. Um, I'm not a celebrity, obviously, but it's also for content creators. It's also for people who are kind of like at the height of their fields, whether that be athletes, um, singers, actors. Are there a lot of celebrities on there? There's a good chunk. Um, I haven't spoken about it before because you're not supposed to, I guess, share too much information. You're not allowed to screenshot all that information. But back to Simone Biles. Let me tell you how you do like people on that app and they have to like you. And it's a very pretentious app to be honest. And most people do not message you um, or you kind of like, you know, may match them, may decide not to message them. Um, but it's completely harmless if you do message someone. So he was reaching. Also for the black women who've heard that Raya is not a good app. I've been in two relationships from Raya. I really like the app. Um, recently it's been hit or miss, but for the past couple of years, it's been cool. And that's not the only sister saying this. Here's another. This is a story time on how I met my fiance, Andrew. We met on Raya, which is a dating app. Um, but now I think it's also more than a dating app. It's for like networking, but it's for um, executives, entrepreneurs, um, people in creative spaces like tech, film, um, music to come and get together and it's also a dating app where celebrities can date and have like the dating app experience but do so more discreetly now raya seems not to focus so much 
on race, but more or less on class. And with that being the case, then you're going to get black women getting the same opportunities as some of the other races. Now, obviously, it's going to matter if they are good looking or if they're feminine or if they're fit. But we saw that you had one white guy that was able to marry a black woman there because of number one, what she did, her class level and her looks. The reality is, is that black people are going to have to solve the black dating issue. Stop the show. That's why you need to check out the Pan-African Dating Show, my other channel, if you want to get hooked up with somebody in Black Africa or in the United States. But that's why Kendra G's show is so popular. I know people will criticize it and say, well, it's a little hood. It is, but it does solve a problem. It answers an issue that Tinder or Bumble can't answer, maybe even Ryan, because those dating apps are not for us. You know, a lot of times you have black men that will date black women on Hinge and I saw it on the shade room. There were men that wanted to date black women and had no problem with it, but those women were not being referred to them because the app just didn't want to promote black women to the guys that had the money there for fear that these women would bring less value to the app as far as a customer base. That is exactly why black people have to develop these dating solutions for ourselves because we understand our community and we understand what people are looking for. But guys, what do you think it's your boy O'Shea Duke Jackson? Back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity Junk. I appreciate you for all that you do. Scare the bell. We're out.